All right. Our last presenter for the day is A.J. Brown. He's been on the show uh, at least a couple times. I think this is his third or fourth time. He's widely recognized as the world's most disciplined option trader. He's been uh, actively trading equities and options since 19, 1997 and has published daily insights for his trading trainer program uh, participants every single night, five days a week since 2002. He's the author of the wildly successful ebook called The Seven Strategies of Successful Options Traders, and his home study courses can be found on the shelves of most successful investors and oftentimes referred to them by, the, uh, by them as their secret weapons. Trading Trainer is based out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Welcome to the show, AJ Brown. Hey, how are you? Good. Good to have you back on here. You're, uh, you're, you're, you're a fan favorite last time. I think uh, people were, were sending messages about um, uh, the way that you teach and uh, how uh, what you do is a little bit different than everybody else. I think one of the things is um, you're meticulous in, in, in your trading and training, aren't you? Oh, I totally am. And I was listening <laughs> to the end of Anka's presentation, and I liked the two things she said, that learning how to do any sort of investing is like uh, driving a car or any other type of skill that you might, you know, I was watching a little one learn how to tie her shoes the other day. And it's just so similar. We have this like progression from going from basically being unconsciously incompetent at doing something right and then we become consciously incompetent at doing it we like now know that we want to learn how to do it but we're incompetent at doing that and then you add a little bit of knowledge and we can become consciously competent at doing it but that like she said like driving a car you have to remember to you know pull in the choke if you have a carburetor i just dated myself um turn okay. the key put it in neutral all of that good stuff before you start the car and then finally you become unconsciously competent at doing it where most of us drive a car from point a to point b and unless something you know crazy happens during that trip we won't even remember it two or three days down that the drive it's like we're almost hypnotically um, we just get there uh, because we're just so consciously competent at how to drive a car and that's the progression of learning and so she nailed that that was fantastic uh, for sure the the whole conscious and the subconscious thing is uh, uh, definitely makes sense and and so in in your since 2002 you've been writing these um, every night you've been you've been writing these uh, uh, reports for everyone yeah I have we started off at trading trainer teaching full-time traders and we still teach full-time traders um, and so every night we publish a report for them including a broad market analysis and including going through uh, some sample tickers that we identified that would be either really educational or ones that they can act on and ultimately also doing some portfolio portfolio management and stuff like that. Uh, we wind up publishing, it comes out to about uh, 20 or 30 pages every evening. Oh, wow. Very cool. Well, great. Well, let's go ahead and get into the show. I know everybody's uh, excited to, to see you. You're the last one of the day. And I got to say, I want to thank everybody for sticking around. We've we've pretty much had, I mean, I don't know, 98% of the people stick around. So that says a lot on about you, AJ, and everybody's waiting to hear what you have to say. So no pressure, but let's make it a good one. All right, all right. Let's see. Change <laughs> all right, I'm going to head over to you. It's 11.50 now. I'll pick you back up uh, around uh, 12.20 uh, Pacific time. And then uh, if anybody has questions, ask them in the box. I'm sure AJ knows where the uh, question and answer box is here. I and, do, I do, I do. In fact, I'm going to switch screens so that you're okay. seeing the correct screen, and I'm off to the races. Thanks, Jack. Perfect. You got it. Speak soon. All right. So I'm excited about this presentation. Just to finish what I was talking about with Jack, uh, yes, we've catered to full-time traders, but one of the things I want to point out really quick is that our bigger group is one that we started in 2007, and that's our investors. And I really like to ask everybody to do some self-introspection. I like you to really think clearly about what it means to be a full-time trader versus an investor because if you don't have the lifestyle that would allow you to be a full-time trader, and that means being able to make a transaction at a moment's notice, you don't have anything else happening during the day. It's basically a job, 
right? You have to be in front of your screen during that trading period. Otherwise, you're going to miss opportunities or if you're in open positions, that could, you know, you're going to miss exits, which is even worse than missing, you know, opening opportunities. So um, make sure that if you're pursuing down the path, of becoming, becoming a full-time trader that once you're there, you can maintain it because that's the number one thing I've, so, you know, we started this company of mine in 2003. So we've been around for 16 years and I've been teaching people since 2002, this trading stuff. And uh, in those 17 years, that's the number one thing I have learned is that People set themselves up and they go through all this education and all this experience building and then they can't maintain it because they have other things to do. If you're an investor, it means that, you know, you're going to be uh, making more long term investments or making investments in things that you do end of day so that you have your day free for either your job or if you have a golf game that you have to go to or if you have family you want to pay attention to. So keep that in mind when you're pursuing these different programs, right? Because no matter what you pursue, you have to be able to maintain it in the long run. All of this stuff is a marathon. Definitely, it's not just a race. So tonight, I wanted to um, take you on a trip about uh, generating income with writing covered puts. And the reason why I thought this was really important is a lot of people believe that the market is somewhat tapped out and it keeps reaching new highs, which makes people even thinking more that, um, you know, we better be prepared for the bottom to fall out. So writing covered puts is a great income generation strategy. And at the same time, it allows us to be prepared for if, the bottom falls out on us, right? Because these things profit if the market crashes to the upside. Uh, so let's go through this. Now, you, I've been on this presentation. I know that I've got some familiar faces out there, but I always want to beam this to you the first time I have you on the, uh, you know, I have your eyes. So I always like to look at this because this is so important for income generation. Number one, Notice where the zero line is. I'm drawing it right there. And I want you to notice between the cycle one and the cycle two, even our low range comes above the zero line, right? The high range started up the zero line. And then I want you to pay attention to how this whole profit curve goes up exponentially, not linearly. But the, you know, so I want you to notice that the longer that we keep our investments in, if they're compounding, they will go up exponentially. So it actually behooves us to have be somewhat, um, it behooves us to be somewhat lazy and not be so active to get out of positions. The longer we can stay, keep our positions profiting, the more profit we can generate. But the other thing is, is we want to design investments such that we become risk-free as quickly as possible. So with that said, let's get on with the presentation about covered puts. And I don't give this presentation very often, but I know that I've got some high level traders here who can understand this stuff. I always like to set off. Let's do this really quick. $50,000 today, or would you take a penny that doubles every month? Which one would you take? Just quickly go through the math. After a week if you took the penny, we only have 64 cents. So we're about a fourth of the way through the month, only 64 cents. All right, I'm going to go speed up and I'm going to get through a half a month. So a half a month goes by and I still only have $163.84. About two thirds of the month has gone by now, and now I'm starting to finally get there, but I've had to go through two thirds of that month, right? I'm at $10,500 roughly. All right, finally, about three fourths of the way through the month, I'm above that $50,000, more than three fourths, no, nah, maybe three fourths. And then notice that it's the last week in the month Again, emphasizing the importance of 
staying in that investment and allowing it to compound. Because if you pull it out early, it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. If you took the penny, you'd walk away with $21,474,836.48. Now, I'm not talking about doubling a penny every day. What I'm talking about is what would it take to double my portfolio every year? Because I like, I'm an engineer by training. I like to reverse engineer everything so I can understand actually real goals. And the real goal is if I earn 6% on my portfolio every month, then I will get my portfolio to double every year. That means a $1,000 portfolio, which a lot of people start in our program with, goes to $2,012 in 12 months or $4,048 in two years. Or if you just let it go for five years, it goes all the way up to close to $33,000. If you let it go for 10 years, you're a bona fide millionaire, right? But what I like even more is what if you had a $100,000 portfolio and you just worked on the 6% per month instead of all these wild goals that require you to be a day trader or whatever it is, what if we worry about a $100,000 portfolio and simply 6% per month doubling it, you'd make $101,219.65 per year. That's being an investor. By definition, an investor has their money work for them, right? Because the typical salary where you actually work and you trade your precious time on this planet is $87,000 a year. That's the median salary here in the United States for a white collar job. But that comes along with working 50 to 60 hours per week. Let your money work for you. You can make more than the median salary. It's good stuff. Not going to go through all this. Jack already reviewed that. There's the home study course he mentioned. Here's my degrees. My big thing that I like to talk about is the fact that the last 15 years I focused on learning and becoming a practitioner of what I call accelerated learning methods. These are non-traditional methods where I use to teach people. It's different than sitting in a classroom and going through, you know, 12 years of schooling like we make our kids go through. These are methods that can get you to internalize the information I'm trying to give you as quick as possible so that it's a much faster process. And I'm really proud of being able to teach people in just months. And the only other thing I want to emphasize before I get into the meat of the presentation is about my foundation. I always like to plug my foundation. In 2003, I started with nine kids off of the streets of Denver, Colorado. I took them in. I put them through my same six-month program that I'm running now. The scoop was is that these high school students really only had a fourth grade education. That means the education of a 10-year-old. Yes, they were in high school. The system was just pushing them through so that the system could basically get them out of the system. But they, I can tell you for truth that they only had a 10-year-old education. Also, because they didn't have a computer and back in 2003, it was either a dial-up or a DSL connection, we had to do this at the public library. And so we did it at the public library, and the public library would only let us get on the internet and do our investing for 30 minutes a day. So if these people with 10-year-old educations, the education of a 10-year-old, and only 30 minutes of a day on a slow DSL connection can do the program, so can you. At the end of the six months, I gave each one of them $2,000 of my own money. I thought I'd never see it again. They all paid me back, and they all were able to buy themselves their own computers, their own connections to the internet. One of them put themselves through Denver University on this investing income that they generated, and now they're all very happy. They're all parents, and they all have really nice families. I keep in touch with them. We've kept this program going. We've actually moved it to Chicago. We've partnered with the CBOE. 
And last year, we graduated 170 Southside Chicago kids through our six-month program. So I always like to talk about our, our foundation because all the people who teach it at my school and I donate our time and all the money from Trading Trainer goes to this foundation. So when you talk to somebody, when you call us and ask us trading questions, you're talking to somebody who isn't making money off of selling you education. We're actually people who do our trading every day. With that said, let's review what minimum returns must you make monthly on your portfolio to more than double your money annually? Do you guys remember? Is it half a percent, one and a half percent, five percent, six percent, or ten percent? If you're saying six percent, that's good. I want to really burn that number into your mind. Focus on growing six percent every month and you're you're set for life. So what am I investing in? I sell option premium. So what the heck is this option premium? Whenever you look up an option price, it's going to consist of two components, the in the money value and the premium value. So when you look up an option price, say for instance, it's $10, some component of that is going to be the in the money value some component of that is going to be the premium value. If the option is not in the money, well, obviously the in the money value will be zero and whatever the option price will be equal to the premium price. So whenever you look at an option price, you look it up on the big board, realize it is a component of these two pieces. Great, now that we've established that, Some of you might be saying, wait a second, I only do stocks or commodities. What's an option? Or I do Forex. What's an option? These are financial instruments. They're called derivatives. They've been created and they're typically used to buy and sell hedged risk. You can collar stocks, indexes, and exchange traded funds. And that's what big market movers like to do. They use these options basically as insurance. But that's not how we use them. We like to sell that premium component for a profit. So how do we sell that premium? I want you to write down these four simple transactions. One, writing covered calls. Two, writing covered puts, what we're going to talk about today. Three, writing covered calls against leaps, supercharging the covered call writing. For you academics out there, that's called a bull call diagonal debit spread. And writing covered puts against leaps. This is the one I really like. But now let's focus in on what this whole writing covered put says. Because what I have here is it says flipping the covered call upside down. And that's because covered puts get exercised to the downside. So they set you up perfectly for if you believe that the market is overbought, like many people do. So let's talk about that. I'm going to use General Electric as an example. Now, General Electric is about $10.11. In fact, these are the prices from yesterday's close. And I'm going to start my covered put by shorting General Electric for $10.11. And once I've shorted General Electric, I'm then going to sell my put against that shorted stock for 21 cents. Those are the prices from last night. Now, notice the strike price for the option is below General Electric, and that's because we're creating a floor, not a ceiling. OK. Now, similar to the covered call, this is called a sell right. A sell right is kind of the worst case scenario. So I want you to know that what we like to do is, of course, when these things are going up and down, we like to sell when they're at the top and we like to buy 
when they're at the bottom. In other words, buy low, sell high. So this example that we're doing here is really the worst case scenario. But if we follow this out, first of all, whenever we write an option, we get an instant dividend. In this case, we're going to get $21 per option contract sold. And that's because options are sold in lots of 100. So we're going to get this instant dividend. And this instant dividend is going to act like an expiring coupon. Because when the expiration date rolls around, November 15th, we're going to get to keep that money if we're not exercised. The other thing this does is it basically allows us to get a better price for General Electric. So we're shorting it for $10.11. Remember, when we short something, we want to get a high price. Once we've sold the put, we actually, in effect, have a shorted it for a much higher price. In this case, $10.32, right? So you actually are giving yourself a discount on the underlying symbol. So what happens if GE closes below $10 on November 15th? Well, we shorted GE for $10.11. We then got to sell it, or we were put to selling it, the $10. So we got to make $0.11 cents of profit per share. We also got to have the $0.21 cents of profit for writing the option in the first place. So we get $0.32 cents of total profit per share or about 3.1% ROI. Now again, worst case scenario. What if it turns out to go flat? $10.11, get to keep the 21 cents. Total profit to date is 21 cents, but now we get to do it over and over again. Again, the worst case scenario here, easily pulling out 2%, do it again, do it again, do it again. What if GE starts to move up? Well, the cool thing is, and we're going to go into an additional strategy at the end, but the cool thing is, is by creating that higher cost basis, we create a profit buffer of 21 cents. So this thing can pop already built into the strategy's design 21 cents and it won't even affect us. Okay. Here are some examples for time's sake, 17% when the stock traded up, 15% when the stock traded water, 14% when the stock took a dump. Those are actual trades, verifiable facts for the person who is not named, who keeps asking about verifiable facts. Those are verifiable trades. Answer all that apply. So what does investing by selling premium create? And there's more than one answer. That's why I said answer all that applies. So give me the answer. An instant dividend, a discount on a security, a profit buffer, an expiring coupon. What do you think? If you said all of them, you're absolutely right. Okay couple more gains. These are verifiable gains. How can we lower our investment, increase our returns, and even convert a margin trade into a cash trade? Because you may have noticed, let me go ahead and put the answers up. You may have noticed that to do a covered put, the first thing you have to do is short an underlying symbol. Shorting an underlying symbol is a margin trade. If you don't have a margin account, writing covered puts is not going to be in your wheelhouse. However, maybe there's a way that we can convert that margin trade, get the same benefits of being able to profit to the downside, but do it in a cash trade that you can do in a cash account or you could do like I do for the tax benefit do it in a retirement account. So how would we do that? Sell out in time options, replace the security with an option trading at parity, give up and buy mutual funds, or is what I'm talking about not even impossible? What do you think? Which one of those do you think is the answer? Yeah. 
If you say replace the security with options trading at parity, you're absolutely right. Not to be confused with options that are synthetic equivalencies. So you might say, well, wait a second, Brown. What are options trading at parity? So we know that that option premium that we like to sell and then have it expire worthless is most when the option is at the money. But if we go deep in the money, the option actually uses all of its premium up. It has very little premium and it's almost completely what we call intrinsic value. What does that mean? A deep in the money option behaves like the underlying security. So for instance, if the underlying stock, in this case, GE goes down, our deep in the money put goes up. And it does so when we go deep in the money, it does so dollar for dollar. So if our underlying stock goes from $10 to $9, then our put is gonna go from $4 to $5. Not only does that, you notice I said $4 to $5, it's going to do so at a cheaper price. So we've got a couple of neat phenomena happening here by making this sub substitution. Number one, we get to basically control this whole transaction with a smaller amount of money. But the other thing is, is now we're buying instead of shorting, we've created indeed a cash trade. Now you might say, well, wait a second. What about the expiration date of this deep in the money back month option? Let me give you some statistics actually. Our transactions of our users tend to last about five months. Now that's a flat bell curve. Many of our transactions last three or four months. Many of them last as much as seven or eight. I just had one in September that lasted nine months. Remember that exponential curve I was telling you about? In addition to that, our portfolios are typically fully vested, whether your portfolio is $800 or your portfolio is over $10 million, which we have many of our users doing $10 million or more portfolios in three to seven positions. And what that translates to is if these three to seven positions with their staggered starts have about five months, three months, seven month length, lengths, about one to two positions per quarter need to be cycled out and replaced with new positions per quarter. So this is not an investing strategy for people who want to be day traders. In fact, it's pretty boring. All you do every either weekly, if you're doing weekly options or every third Friday of the month, if you're doing monthly options is collect the premiums and then you just let these things roll. You, there's very little maintenance on this portfolio. One to two times per every three months is what we roll out. Now, if our positions are lasting five months on average, maybe seven, eight, nine months, back in 2012, I had a position that lasts 14 months. That's, a, that's an outlier. We want to make sure that that back month option is not going to expire if we still have months to collect that premium on. So we go far out in time. We typically use option leaps. Right now we're using 2021s. So let's run through a scenario. Let's take that same GE. We could either short GE at $10.11 or we can replace that shorted GE with a long position in the GE 2021 $15 put and buy it for a much cheaper price. So now you use that instead. 475, if we, I think this was supposed to be 21 cents. I think we get 21 cents. So $21 per contract sold. If GE closes below $10, you get the 475, you would get exercised. Notice you would get exercised, instead of getting the $10, you get the spread between the 10 and the $15 back month. So you get the $5. 
25 cent profit there, plus we get the 21 cents for writing the GE put for 46. But notice now that 46 cents is on that initial purchase of just 475 or a 10.1% ROI. So not only do we convert it into a cash trade, we're also getting a ton of ROI. If it's flat, we get to keep that 21 cents and do it again and again and again. And if it pops, we now have that profit buffer built in, anything below 454 and we're still safe. One last piece, a couple more returns. How can we drastically reduce our return on risk? So I wanted to show you right here, this was a trade we just figured out this past hour, right? We were in a workshop with my actual users and we were looking at JD.com. Here's the actual setup that we did on JD.com. We give everybody, when they're part of our program, this spreadsheet that helps them do all the math. So they just fill in the blanks and then it creates these different strategies. Here's the four strategies, covered call, covered put, bull call diagonal debit spread and bear put diagonal debit spread. And notice the plan. The spreadsheet spits out exactly what you're going to do. Go long two contracts after a top has been found. Write two contracts after a bottom has been found. Go long two contracts when you write the puts. And then it tells you when to sell the puts. So what we're talking about here, or sell the calls, is using protective options. So in other words, collaring the transaction in order to reduce our risk. So if we marry a protective option into this, we hedge our risk completely. In this case, it would be a protective call. So that brings us back to what this whole chart is all about. This chart actually matches a trade that we would do with a covered put that is collared showing us that within one month, and we were showing that on JD just an hour ago, notice what we've got here. The portfolio risk on the actual trade after three months is at zero. In other words, if the trade gets exercised after three months, we'd be looking at returns of 55.7%. And notice if it gets bailed out, which is a that's when the, the trade goes against you in three months, we would still walk away with 15%. So a lot of people ask me with this strategy, what is your win-loss ratio? The truth is, is the win-loss ratio doesn't matter because even when you lose, you walk away with the percentages you need in order to double your portfolio. It's really nice. It's unique. So let me review these three steps with you. I want you to write these down in your notes. I know I'm getting low on time here, but I want to get through this. Buy or short an underlying security or buy a substitute option trading at parity. Step two, I want you to sell a near term at the money options for its premium value. This could be your put. Get yourself an instant dividend, a profit buffer. And step three, I want you to collar this whole thing with a married option that is one month out. In fact, let me augment my presentation here. I'd rather you go even further out. One month is a minimum. Go three to six months out, collar that in order to protect the investment. This is a recipe to create an investment portfolio that will blow your mind, right? Let's keep going. So one of my questions that I have for you, based on just this quick little demonstration on how covered puts are even better, how you can do a covered put against a leap, convert it into a cash trade, and make even higher returns. How would you like to do that, along with all the other premium selling strategies, you never miss a pick. 
Minimize the amount of time you spend away from your loved ones on your trading. And more importantly, have support whenever you need it. Because that's what it's all about, right? It's saving time. It's creating clarity. It's getting the results. So would it be okay if I just take a couple of moments to tell you a little bit about my materials, a little bit about my training and tools and see if they might be a match for you? Thanks. So who is all of this premium selling for? It really would be for someone who doesn't want to pay for multiple data subtractions, wants everything they need in one place, doesn't want to miss an opportunity, wants to spend more time doing other things, doesn't want to do this alone, wants step-by-step -step instruction. This is for someone who wants to get consistent, reliable results, right? I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and I'm going to log right in. I'm going to do it. I'm going to open up a Google browser. I'm going to log into our member portfolio. This is where our subscribers get to go. So I'm going to go to login.tradingtrainer.com. I'm going to log in as me with my email address, my password. Assuming I can remember it. And once we've logged in, I want you to notice here in the premium selling area that we have this cool screener. In fact, we've got these other screeners too. Uh, these are the beta screeners. And you'll notice that every evening our screener runs and gives us the candidates that we should be pursuing for our program. It really is that easy. We have a screener that runs through 11,700 stocks, ETFs, and indexes every evening and their respective <clears throat> option chains and makes matches for us to save us a heck load of time, right? And that's really who wants to use this program. So for instance, here's Charlene. She's one of my favorite folks. She wrote us an email early in the morning one morning. She got sick, right? She was a teacher. And I think teachers are one of our most undervalued groups in our society. She was a teacher and she had been a teacher for 29 years. She got sick. She actually, she didn't write it in her email, but I know her personally. She got cancer and she tried to keep teaching through her therapies. And it just got to a point where she was so weak that she was ordered out of the classroom. And she still had 13 years left to get her teacher's pension. She thought she was going to pass away and she was actually peaceful about it. And then she had a recovery. She's been cancer free ever since. The problem is, is especially in this country, in the United States, if you survive something like that, not only are you usually too weak to work, to get an income, but you're left with a ton of bills, which is what she was left with. She had no livable retirement coming in. She wasn't gonna be able to collect social security or, for 10 years. She got interested in the stock market and the rest was hi history. Thanks to AJ, she's not only going to make a living, she'll be able to travel. The instant income calendar tool is very easy to do. All you do is read a daily table, find the stock you're interested in, follow the strategy set out for you. I use this along with other strategies to diversify my financial plan. I recently made 14% by just spending about 15 minutes reading about the company, following the chart, and then waiting for expiration. It's so easy. So... What is this program all about? We have a once a month lecture webinar and we store those all as replays. And this is where we take a deep dive on different components of the overall end to end process. We have a once a week workshop on Thursdays. We had ours right before I'm giving you this presentation where if you wanna take a symbol down, JD is the symbol that we did this week. It's getting ready to trade in the next couple of days. Ticker JD. It's going to be one that you're going to either do a covered put on if you have a margin account 
or you're going to do a bear put, um, covered put against a leap if you want to make it a cash trade. So every week, and we do one of these once a week webinars. This is where we actually take the spreadsheet we give you, this planning spreadsheet. We go through it, we figure it out, we fill it out, and then we give you a live trade for you to go trade. We call that our learn while you earn program. So you learn how we fill out the spreadsheet, but also at the end of each Thursday, you have yet another position you can pursue for your own portfolio. We actually have folks who have been with me now. We've been running this particular investors uh, program for since 2007. They have been with me almost that long. And I keep asking them, why do you renew every six months? Haven't you learned it? Yeah, we learned it, but why should we, you know, why should we go out on our own if you're going to keep handing us trades every week? So, okay. But most folks, that's a, that's a small minority. Most folks after six months don't, don't use us anymore. They're good to go. We also answer all of your questions by a private messaging system that we set up so that you can get instant answers to your questions when you have them. The other thing we like to do is we like to, especially on your first position, send us, send me personally your plan so I can make sure your plan doesn't have any gotchas, make sure you did the process correctly. That's very important to me and I ask everybody to send me their, at least their first trade for me to review before you go forward with it. I have a double your money back guarantee. This is where we promise to give you twice your money back that you paid. So if you buy into our program for six months and at the end of the six months you haven't turned a profit, then we're going to give you the six months back. Plus, we're going to give you the same amount in cash out of my pocket. That's how much I know that this program works. Somebody says, am I USA based? I am based in Fort Collins, Colorado. I, of course, personally live out of uh, three different houses, one in Myrtle Beach, one in Washington, D.C., and one in Fort Collins, Colorado. So at any one time, I will be calling into the office and into the webinars from wherever I am. But yes, I spend most of my time in the United States. So here's what you do. You go right now. Here's the website, optioninvesting.org forward slash investor expos. If you want and you have your mobile device, a uh, mobile phone or your tablet, you can point the camera right at the screen as if you're taking a picture and your mobile device will go right to this website. That's what that little code does. So turn it on to the camera as if you're taking a picture, point it right at the screen and it'll bring you right to this website. Otherwise, the website just got put into the chat box so you can click on it there. I want you to not pass go, not collect $200 because you deserve it. Your loved ones deserve it. Here's my name and my phone number and my email address if you have questions. But what I wanted to do before Jack comes on and asks me a couple of final questions is I wanted to go visit the website and make sure it's working because optioninvesting.org forward slash investor expos. And what you should see when you go there is a page that looks like this, including a little video that will explain the program. It'll explain everything you get. It will show you results. If you watch this smaller video, it'll show you the actual portfolio for the person who keeps sending messages saying, show me verifiable results. Go right here, sir or ma'am. I don't know because you kept your name as member member. <laughs> go here and go go verify those trades. Um, the price of the program is $497 for six months. You can pay by PayPal. You can pay with credit card. Um, again, there's the double your money back guarantee if you're interested. And also do know that because I give personalized help, in other words, because I'm reviewing all new person's trades before they place them, uh, we do limit this. 
So we like to keep only 100 traders per month coming in because otherwise I will not be able to provide the personalization that I do. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, we can't offer this very, very long at this 497 special price for Investor Expo. So the link works. And I think I'm pretty much done with my presentation. Jack, are you out there? Hey, AJ, Anna's here. It was a great presentation. As always, I put just a few links in the chat box. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for letting me be on this presentation again. I always like to come and present kind of a different turn or a different uh, um, view of premium. If you guys get a chance to watch the Investor Expos replays and you can see some of the past ones. In the past, I spent some time talking about the collaring and also on the covered calls. Today, we talked about the covered puts. Feel free to go to my websites and you know delve around on all of the presentations we have available. Or if you're interested in selling this premium, come uh, and, and uh, join us. And thanks again, Anna. Thanks, AJ. Any last thoughts? No, uh, I'm l just looking through the Q&A. I think that I answered pretty well all the questions that came our way. Again, whether your portfolio is small as $800 or as big as you know seven, eight figures, no worries. You can sell premium. And if you are a full-time trader and that's where you want to focus, it doesn't hurt to put a portion of your portfolio into investments like this and let this run in the background, just reliably bringing income into you every week or every month, depending on if you're using weekly or monthly options. Allow that to work in the background while you pursue being a full-time trader with the other portion of your portfolio. This is just easy returns that take very little effort. And if you're also like me, where you pursue to do other, you, you know, you prefer to do other things during the day, than just sit in front of the computer watching, then this is your ticket. Again, like I said in the beginning, make sure you know when you what your end game is. If you're gonna take on a program and you're gonna learn how to be a full-time trader, make sure you're ready to be a full-time trader once you've learned the program because that requires a certain amount of maintenance. Whereas, you know, being an investor requires a different lower level of maintenance, and maybe that's where you're at right now. So that's my final thoughts. Uh, great. As always, <laughs> have a good Halloween. You too. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye.